fittings from Canyon City, Colorado. I'm sharing our complete one day travel guide to the best things to do, eat and see in Canyon City and Royal Gorge area of Colorado. We are so excited to be here in Canyon City and we have so many things we're going to be doing. So the first thing we're doing is taking the Royal Gorge train ride which weaves in and out of a thousand foot deep gorge. And we're taking the morning train ride which is at 915 and right next to the Royal Gorge train is this really pretty park. It has a beautiful river, this pretty bridge, lots of walking trails. It's really cool to come walk around here. It's right by the train. The Royal Gorge train ride is approximately two hours long. There are a few different classes of service. Coach class, club or deluxe class, and dome seating. We booked the club deluxe class, which is middle class seating, and tickets were $89 per person. It has more of a relaxed table seating with large windows, a full bar, and is a bit more geared towards adults only. All classes of service are able to access the open air cars. All right, so I got a mimosa, a cinnamon roll. Ben's got a green chili burrito and a beer. Looks good. All right, I just tried Vince's burrito. That is like, it's like one of the best burritos. This is all really, really good. And we're moving. You can get up and go in and out of the open air cars as much as you want. The trains run right along the Arkansas River deep into the gorge. We saw the Royal Gorge Bridge from below, whitewater rafters, and had a perfect ride with amazing views weaving in and out of the canyon. <laughs> All right, we just finished the Royal Gorge train. Awesome. Definitely our favorite train we've done yet, right? It's yeah, definitely, yeah, it was good. yeah. It was yeah. Fun. We've done, so this is our third train here in Colorado, and they are all so fun and they're all so unique. But I, I feel like this one might have tipped it just a little bit, little bit further. So definitely a must do if you're in Canyon City. But now we are at our next stop. We are at the Royal Gorge bridge all right so we are at the bridge and total total bummer um the gondolas were struck by lightning and they're waiting on a bunch of parts in order to um, get it moving again because they have to inspect everything so just happened last week it's a very colorado thing yeah <laughs> struck by lightning seriously so part of the mission is to do the gondola but they're not working so you still pay full price even to do the other stuff so yeah, i'm pretty bummed about that but this is the highest bridge in the USA, so you gotta do it. General admission to walk the bridge was $27 per person. They also have zip lining, a sky coaster, and other attractions for additional charges. Although we couldn't take the gondola ride, standing almost a thousand feet above the gorge and Arkansas River on the highest bridge in America was a really, really neat experience. So there's cracks, like in between the boards here. Don't look down, you guys. Don't look down. <laughs> You're scared of heights like I am. I'll give you the, the willies. <laughs> all right, so we're all done at the bridge area. Really, really cool to see that from above because, you know, we took the train down, saw it from the below, and now from above. Really cool experience. Like I said, totally bummed. We can do the gondolas because that's what we were really, really looking forward to doing. So now we are just up the road from the Royal Bridge area at the Elkhorn picnic area. And this is a really pretty area for more overlooks of the bridge. If for some reason the gondola isn't open or if you're not interested in doing any of the zip lining or anything and you don't want to pay the entrance fee just to walk on the bridge, you can always see the bridge from like the parking lot and then other viewpoints like this picnic area um, and it's free. There's just a small little hike from the main road to get to the viewpoints of the Royal Gorge Bridge. We even got lucky and saw the Royal Gorge train come through deep down in the gorge. Alright you guys, so we are back down in Canyon City and now we're going to do a few little hikes here. So the first one we're going to hit up quick is Tunnel Drive, which I think if you did the entire stretch it's maybe right under four miles. However, we're not doing the whole thing. We just want to see the tunnels um, and I know those are not too far down the hike. So I figured it'd be kind of cool to go take a little afternoon walk here and go check out the tunnels on Tunnel Drive. The first tunnel was about 0.2 miles up the trail. There were three tunnels total with lots of pretty scenic views along the way. The last tunnel was about 0.5 miles up the trail. So round trip, we did about one mile altogether. 
together. So we just exited the last tunnel here and this trail just goes right along the gorge, along the river. Here's the train tracks. Beautiful little hiking trail here. It's a good thing we came on here. I don't know if you see it, but there's a sheep right above the tunnel. Look at him. Wow, beautiful. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them on top laying down. Look at that. All right, so we're on our next little hike and we are in the Temple Canyon area, which is right outside of Canyon City. So we are at the Temple Canyon Trailhead for the Redemption Trail. That's where we're hiking because there's kind of a little hidden gem I kind of found online. So I wanna go check it out and see if what I saw is real. So let's go take a little hike. We found it, you guys. So roughly about a half mile up the Redemption Trail. It's kind of hard to see because we had to pull up our map to kind of see where we were. Um, keep your eye out to the left there is a slot canyon and we're gonna enter it right now I don't really know if there's much for slot canyons in Colorado so when I read about this I was like I have to go see this totally reminds us of Slot Canyons we hiked in like Utah, um, that's Colorado. So this is even more exciting. And just for a quick reference, so the trail is like right over here and then you cross this deep wash like this and the trail keeps going up. So just know it's like just to the left a tiny bit, you'll kind of see this and then that's where you enter to get into the Slot Canyon. We are on Main Street here in Canyon City. What a cute little main street here. We're seeing so many murals everywhere. A really cool thing about this mural. So Canyon City is where all Colorado license plates are made and the mountains on their license plate. That is the peak of Fremont Mountain here in Canyon City. So pretty cool. This is where it's done. These hikes made us hungry, so it's time to go eat. There are so many cute restaurants to choose from on Main Street, and there's even a few breweries, but we were craving pizza, so we decided to check out Pizza Madness. All right, we got the barbecue special pizza. So it has barbecue sauce, chicken, pineapple, and onion. It looks so good. Serve it up. Yeah. You guys, pizza was amazing. That was really, really good pizza. That barbecue special, highly recommend. Hit it up if you're in Canyon City. So we saw ice cream right down the street, so we're definitely gonna go hit that up. <laughs> All right, cheers with our ice cream. So our last stop here in Canyon City is a scenic drive called Skyline Drive. And this drive brings you up and you get some really pretty scenic views of Canyon City and all the mountains around. So, decided to take this little drive. Skyline Drive is a 2.6 mile one-way road that follows the top of Razorback Ridge. The panoramic views from the top are gorgeous and there's even a hiking path you can climb to get even higher for even more aerial views of Canyon City. <sighs> wow, you guys, this is beautiful. <sighs> That's a wrap here on our one full day in Canyon City, Colorado. Wow! So we're still up here on Skyline Drive and just soaking these views up. This is so beautiful up here. And so we're here in the evening. It's probably about like six o'clock and the sun is behind us, which I think is so perfect for this drive because you, it just lights up all of Canyon City, these mountains, like everything. So highly recommend an evening drive up here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and found it helpful as you plan your trip to Canyon City. If you have any questions, of course, comment down below. So with that said, we're gonna say adios to Canyon City City. Even though I'm not ready to leave, I could totally stay here another day and explore more. <laughs> I know we'll be back, that's for sure. And thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye, guys. Bye.